All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Survival HQ here. So this is part two of a two-part series that I put together on two of the commonly used methods to purify water in a survival situation or in a bug out bag, things you can carry. Uh, part one, please check it out. I made it earlier. It's on uh, Tentured Ionine. This is part two on Clorox bleach or Purex bleach as it's commonly known. So let's talk a little bit about bleach. Uh, bleach is inexpensive. Uh, this... Uh, Basically, one liter cost me $1.50. Uh, I buy them in these smaller, more manageable containers. They're a little easier to carry than the 3-liter jugs, or 3.75, I believe they are, liter jugs. Uh, again, inexpensive. Uh, what does bleach do for us? Well, bleach is a, it's a, it's a 5 to 6% chlorine and uh, sodium hypochlorite solution are the active ingredients in uh, bleach. So let's talk about... Uh, Sodium uh, hypochlorite is a poison, okay? It's, it's not good for you. It, it's, uh, it's, it's not to be ingested in high quantities. You drink bleach straight, uh, you're going to die, simply put. Um, but when it's properly uh, diluted in water, it is acceptable for human consumption. So what about bleach? It does have it on this container here. You're going to see it says a, uh, the old uh, Bernie hand symbol, the corrosive symbol. Bleach is corrosive. Uh, it is potent in, in its straight form without being diluted. It can give you rashes. It can uh, eat away at plastics. It, uh, other than the plastic it comes in, it's not recommended to be stored in any other plastic. Uh, it is a corrosive, has corrosive properties. And you don't ever mix bleach with uh, ammonia. It's going to create a very noxious vapor. It's going to make you sick. It could make you pass out. Uh, you don't mix uh, bleach with ammonia, period. It's talking about shelf life. So bleach is, uh, expires within one to two years. Uh, that's what you're going to put for if it's going to be used to uh, sanitize uh, or clean uh, water. You don't want to go past that because then you're losing the effectiveness of, uh, effectiveness of the bleach. And then you're not sure the quite right ratio in order to, to mix with your water to make your water purified. So you can still use it afterwards for sanitation purposes, even knowing it's less potent. But when it comes to uh, uh, purifying water, no more than one or two years, uh, move on to a new container, a new uh, a dropper bottle, um, you know, a new, a, a, new, uh, a new batch, as they say. <coughs> so let's talk about what bleach does. It kills bacteria, many viruses, and impurities in water. So it's extremely potent. Uh, hospitals use this as one of their main methods to sanitize. Uh, they they use this extensively in, in operating rooms in, in many areas. It's a fantastic uh, sanitizer, one of the best out there. Uh, well, definitely for the price. Uh, that's why hospitals smell the way they do. That's why clean environments, clean kitchens, clean rooms, they smell the way they do when bleach is used. Uh, that's how you know you've got yourself a clean room is when you smell that uh, or clean area when you smell that bleach smell. Uh, let's talk about when it comes to purifying water. So you put two drops per liter or quart of bleach. So two drops, drop, drop. Use a dropper if you want per liter uh, or quart. And then you let it sit for 30 minutes. Give it a shake in the water bottle or in the any, whatever, whatever vessel you're storing it in. Let it sit for 30 minutes and you're good to go. So one thing about it, it is it is light sensitive. That's why they come in these, you know, dark bottles. You can move them as I do to these dark glass bottles, uh, so the corrosiveness doesn't eat way through the. There's no plastic involved here. It is tinted so that it helps with the life expectancy. So uh, bleach is affected by the sunlight as well. So that's why you want to leave it in one of these two options. You don't just put it in some clear bottle. Uh, it's going to become less effective. Uh, don't use unscented or sorry scented bleaches. You get bleaches that have nice, pretty smells, but you don't use this when it comes to uh, purifying water. Uh, these chemicals that they put in the bleach, uh, they might add a nice smell, but they're bad for you. Uh, you not should be drinking those. Uh, you don't want that involved in any way when it comes to purifying water. Uh, do not use pool chlorine uh, to dif disinfect water. There's a vast difference between. Uh, uh, 
uh, chlorine uh, from a pool versus uh, chlorine from bleach. I mean, they're not even in the same world. Do not use pool chlorine to disinfect water, uh, simply put. Uh, let's talk about um, uses when it comes to uh, uh, not just drinking it and uh, having it in your water to purify water. Let's talk about some of the other uses. So it, it sanitizes easy eating utensils. So you simply wash it in a, uh, uh, a uh, diluted form of water with your eating utensils or whatever, whatever knives or whatever you're trying to clean. Let it sit for 10 minutes, 15 minutes till it dries and away you go. You got yourself some uh, clean eating utensils. It disinfects all food prep surfaces. So it's going to clean cutting boards, counters, wooden boards, rocks, stones, you name it. It's going to disinfect any prep uh, food prep services, uh, surfaces. You can dilute it, uh, one teaspoon per gallon, and then you can wash fruits and vegetables in it. That's going to get rid of all the bugs and bacteria off your fruit and vegetables. Uh, help make them uh, you know, better to eat for you. Stick to that ratio, though, one teaspoon per gallon uh, for that. It uh, kills viruses. Now, so what you can do is just put this in a spray bottle, put it on the slowest, uh, lowest setting of mist, and again, you're able to mist it in the air uh, in a sick room or a bathroom or if somebody's not feeling well in an area or just basically in, in, in your environment, it, period. And as it rains down through the air, it's going to kill some of the viruses and bacteria that are in the air not 100 percent, but it's it's going to be effective it's going to it's going to create a sanitary area it's going to create a safe zone a safe room for people who are dealing with illness uh which could be important in a grid down or a you know some sort of uh you know situation like that you're going to want to create a, a safe area for people to get well in and, and nothing is uh quite as good as uh, for the for the for the price as uh, some clorox or some bleach when it comes to that it kills mold and mildew. So you take this, you mix three quarters of a cup per gallon. You let it sit uh, when you spray it on the mold or mildew or wipe it on the mildew or dump it or whatever, whatever method you're going to apply it. You let it sit, then you rinse it off again with some clean water. It's going to kill all the mold and bacteria and uh, mildew, sorry, mold and mildew, uh, wherever you see it. It, uh, it. it can be used to kill insects and pets, uh, pests, insects and pests, gosh. Uh, I mean, yeah, it'll kill your ants, it'll kill all this, but if you've got like bed bugs, gnats, uh, anything that's really, I guess, biting you or pissing you off, <laughs> excuse, excuse myself there, uh, getting annoyed with, uh, it will kill these bugs, uh, and these pests and make your life, uh, a lot easier, um, Hospitals use it, uh, you can also use it to sanitize sheets and clothing. Uh, listen, if you're sick, again, if you if you got a sick room or you got people coming down with uh, serious, you know, illnesses and it's rampant through society in a grid down situation, uh, Clorox and bleach, uh, you can wash clothing and bed sheets in it and it's going to kill and sanitize all these things. I mean, they use it in hospitals for bed sheets and, and gowns and everything. Uh, yes, these are white bed sheets and gowns if you use colored clothing or colored sheets. Uh, bleach isn't going to pull out all the colors in them, but if we're talking a uh, you know a, a grid down situation or a survival situation or just this strictly like got to do what you got to do, who cares about the coloring in your clothing? Uh, I'd rather have them clean than me be sick. So it will pull the colorings out. Obviously, that's what we know which what bleach or, or Clorox does. Um, let's talk about. Uh, some of the other things it can do. It kills weeds. I mean, now we're not talking a survival scenario. I'm just giving you, telling you what it can and, you know, the other aspects of what it can do. It kills weeds. Uh, it kills moss and it kills algae. Uh, maybe you've got an outdoor area, a boat, a pool, a, a cooler, some sort of container that's got moss or algae or something on it. You want to sanitize it to carry food or water or whatever. Uh, it's going to kill that moss and algae. It's going to wipe that all off. And uh, it's going to get rid of it and it's going to make it uh, sanitary to use that vessel or, or whatever form you want to get rid of those two things. So it's great for that. Uh, one thing it does is it also increases the lifespan of cut flowers. Um, yeah, I mean, you put three drops and some sugar per liter uh, when you have cut flowers uh, or cut plants or, or any edibles you want to keep. Uh, longer to live longer whatever uh, I mean mainly it's kept kept used for flowers in the flower industry I'm just telling you what it does 
Uh, it's not necessarily needed in a, a you know a bug out bag situation or a grid down situation, but I'm just giving you the info, guys. Um, and lastly, uh, I mean, you can use this as self defense, guys. Uh, let's be serious. I mean, if you don't have a a weapon or a knife or really anything, a self defense, um, you can put this in a in a squirt gun, a simple uh, water gun or a squirt gun or in a cup or in a any method that you can, you know. Use it to help defend yourself. And you spray this or splash this in somebody's eyes and throw it in somebody's eyes who's, who's trying to you know cause you harm. Uh, it burns like crazy, guys. It's going to stop them. They, they ain't going to be interested in, in horsing around too much more. They've got to go somewhere and flush out their eyes. So if you put it in a squirt bottle or a, or a, a squirt gun or some sort of method to help defend yourself... I mean, it is kind of the last ditch, uh, you know. It's not pepper spray, but it's it's not enjoyable to get in your eyes. So you could use it as self-defense, guys. You really could in a grid-down situation or a bug-out situation. You come across some. Uh, there's a use to it as well for that, you know. Uh, I'd rather have other means to defend myself. But if that came down to it, last-ditch effort type thing... Uh, this is a, an item can you can use for self-defense. So that's an interesting aspect of it. So anyways, guys, uh, that's, uh, that's a story about uh, bleach uh, from Clorox or Purex. Please, guys, uh, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a physician. I know I, know I shared a lot of this info with you guys, uh, some of the knowledge I've learned over the years and, and some of the interesting things I find out about these, these products. But please, guys, consult a physician or a doctor. Please do your own research. I'm far from an expert. I just know what I know and I... You know, and I know what I've learned. And uh, don't take my word for it. Please do your own research. Make sure you've uh, you got all your info yourself for your situation, your scenario. I don't want anything to happen to anyone. Uh, when I want to stay safe, I'm just letting you know with some of the uh, things I've learned over the years. And uh, anyways, anyways, guys, uh, please check out my uh, part one of my series where I talked about tinctured iodine to go along with this part two uh, bleach uh, in my two-part series. Uh, two great items to... Uh, to use in a grid down or bug out bag situation and as always guys please uh thanks for uh watching my video please uh like share and subscribe and as always guys i'll be back again as soon as i can with another video take care